Hey guys, and welcome back to Call the Wild with Lady Legend. In today's video, we are going to talk about exploits, modding, and what fair gameplay is in Call of the Wild. It's a hot topic right now. It's not meant to offend anyone, but we should talk about it. So let's do it. If you do enjoy this video, guys, make sure to smash that like button. If you'd like to join us for more, hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to click that notify bell so you never miss another video. We are definitely going to head right into it. Pretty nice level four. So I have been noticing a lot on social media. Some very interesting things have been popping up lately. And it begs the question, what is fair? What is fair gameplay and what is blurring the lines? What is unfair gameplay? And when I say that I see some funny things on social media, what I'm talking about are insane, insane kills. Like Diamond Melanistic Fallow, Albino Diamond Muley. And here we have a gentleman who spawned three great ones in 10,000 kills. And I'm certainly not here to call anyone a cheater or to accuse anyone of doing anything wrong. That is certainly not my purpose. But when I see all of these things being posted to social media, it does beg the question, what is true, what is legitimate, and what is not? I don't really think they're all, <laughs> they all just spawn. I have been playing this game pretty hard for almost four years. And I have very few diamond rares. I have six diamond rare ducks. I have, let's see, an albino diamond water buffalo and a piebald diamond Reindeer, and that's all. That's all I have for diamond rares. I do have a slew of trolls. <laughs> I have a few trolls. 145.4. Thought we would play a little bit of multiplayer in Layton today. Right along. I am loving this 303. The more I use it, the more I love it. So yeah, I have been noticing that on social media quite a bit. And uh, I am hearing that there are all kinds of mods out there. I haven't really looked into it too much, but I know that you can, if you want to, if you are on PC, you can spawn a great one in onto your map using a mod and no one would be any the wiser. I could spawn a great one on and <laughs> during a stream and go, hey, look guys, I got the great one, but I'm not gonna do that. I don't want it that way. Yes, we are at Mushroom Lake and I look, looks like I'm spooking some stuff up. All right, let's shoot some blacktail. Other things that, what just happened? No! Did I get him? He's got two bullets. <laughs> I don't know if I got a vital, but he is down to 25. And these guys are just standing there. What are you doing? Oh yeah, a bullet in there would definitely, definitely be very helpful. And I have to tell you, I have had just an unbelievable amount of people tell me that they have shot the great one. Just an insane amount of people. And I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I have almost been killing myself to get a great one and I just can't seem to do it. <laughs> I have killed almost 2,700 whitetail. Now I'm not quite doing it so much anymore until the whitetail get fixed. I am beyond frustrated with the whitetail, but I am very excited to start a new grind in Mexico. Left long on the level three. And I did not get a vital on that one. I did try, it did not work out. Oh well. <laughs> and then we have a doe standing here. How you doing buddy? You have yourself a great day, all right? Grow some antlers, would you? Now, I have also been noticing, I, I don't play multiplayer a huge amount. I have been trying to get on there a little more lately, but now that I am on PC, I am noticing all kinds of modding on multiplayer. Anytime you hop onto a multiplayer server and you see anyone on there that is above level 60, they are modding. You cannot go above level 60 in this game. That is max level and anyone that is above level, max level is modding. Now there are different kinds of modding and the, the kind of modding that gives you extra, you know, visual benefits, skins for your guns and uh, maybe outfits for your character, things that don't enhance your gameplay. I don't personally have a problem with stuff like that. If it's not making you perform better than me, 
then it's not a cheat to me. That's just my personal opinion. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments, guys, how you feel about this stuff. What do you think is unfair advantage and what is not? Now, another thing that we should discuss is resetting your population on PC. Now, this is something that only PC players can do. We can go in to our files and we can delete individual map populations one at a time you don't have to delete them all and you will instantly get a fresh new population on your map now the purpose of this isn't to have a look at your map and think well I don't have anything good here let's let's get rid of it all and let's get a fresh new set of animals and a fresh new set of diamonds and rares on your map and I do believe that every fresh map does come with its own set of diamonds on it. I certainly do. Now, is that blurring the line? Well, it is an advantage and it is something that console players cannot do. And I, I believe that console players make up 66% of our community. And that is a huge number. And that's a really unfair advantage. Now, I do understand that console players now I did come from the console community. <laughs> I come from Xbox, so I do know what is going on there. And I know that people on Xbox like to do alts. And what an alt is, is setting up your second Xbox, opening up a multiplayer server, and then jo joining that server from your own account and hunting it like a multiplayer. And the benefit to that is it's a fresh map. It hasn't been picked clean. And uh, that is the way to get around it on console. And I have seen that done quite a bit. I have hunted on alts. I'm not gonna say that I haven't. I have been invited on and I, I have in the past. I absolutely have. But what we do as content creators, I, I'm, I like to live a little cleaner now <laughs> than I am. I, I don't like to do that anymore. I don't like to take any trophies that are handed to me and I do get them offered to me on a regular basis. And I do appreciate people doing that. They are just trying to help. But if it's going in my lodge, I need to find it myself. That's just my own policy. I just, I don't want to look at something and think, corpse gave me that, this person gave me that, that person gave me that. I don't want that. I want to find my own stuff. This needs to be my own accomplishment. That's just how I personally feel about it. There's a whole pile of them in there, my goodness. All threes. So talking about resetting your population and running alts, should we be doing this? No, probably not, probably not. The purpose is to get a fresh map with all new diamonds and rares on there for us to find. When we mess up a trophy, we really shouldn't be turning the game off and turning back on so that your animal's in perfect condition so you can go back and, and take a second shot at it. It kind of defeats the purpose of having to shoot it correctly in the first place, don't you think? And I know it is very tempting, but we really need to think about these things when we're doing them. Because what it does is it hurts the integrity of the game. And that is what I really care about. Every time that someone spawns a trophy that they didn't find, that they didn't earn, that they didn't happen upon in game, Every time they spawn one of those onto their map and harvest it and show it off to the community, it devalues all of the blood, sweat, and tears that we put into this game. All of the legitimate trophies get devalued just a little bit every time that happens. And that's not right. So it does really make me upset. There is a way for multiple people to harvest the same animal. And I'm not going to share it with you guys because I don't want to promote it, but I do know how it is done. And multiple people can harvest the same trophy over and over again. It's bad. Thoracic left lung. And the unfortunate part of all of it is that I actually saw a post on Facebook a couple weeks back that literally said that every YouTuber who is on PC, which is basically 95% of all YouTubers out there, are all cheaters because we're on PC. And that's not fair either. <laughs> that's not fair to say, right? So it is easier to run mods on PC. Obviously it is a lot tougher to do it. I don't even know if you can do it on console. I have no idea. 
I have no idea how it is even done on PC. I've never looked into it. I probably never will. You see, when you take something that was not earned, it devalues it for you when you do earn it. And I know that because I have done it. I'm not gonna lie to you guys and tell you I'm a perfect angel. I'm not. I have been invited onto maps to shoot diamonds and rares, and I have done it. It is very tempting, and I get why people do it. I totally, totally understand. The thing, my experience with it was that, you know, I was once invited to jump onto a map and shoot a nine legendary red deer, and of course, oh, okay, that sounds amazing, let's do that. And then I did it, and after the, after the whole experience, put it in the lodge, and I felt let down. I didn't feel excited because I didn't earn it. I ended up going through and deleting it. Like, it's not mine. It, it did pad my diamond counter, unfortunately, but, you know, it left me feeling not fulfilled. It just didn't, didn't do it for me. But I had to do it to find that out, right? I did have to do it to find that out. Are these ducks still here? But I don't know if any of you guys have ever been on a multiplayer server where everything on the server is a max level animal. Usually what happens is you get onto a server, you spot an animal, and you go, Oh my goodness, the first animal I see, it's a level 5 bighorn sheep or whatever. And then you spot another one, and it is also a max level animal. And then you start to realize that everything on the map has been modded, and that has happened to me. And when that happens, I pack my bags and I leave. That's what I do. I know it, it's easy to think that what we do doesn't affect other people, but it, it does, actually. I really feel like it does. Especially if you're posting this stuff to social media. I have seen people use what is called the backpack glitch, and I'm not going to tell you what it is because I don't want to promote it, but there is a glitch that you can do that causes you to be basically invisible. You will have the line and it will cause you to make way less noise so you can basically run around the map like you're creeping and make the amount of noise as though you're creeping. So obviously this gives you a huge advantage and the question I have about that is why do you want to do that? It is <laughs> I need some challenge in this game to make this game fun and interesting. I don't really want to make it easier. I really don't. So I don't really get what the purpose is. It definitely makes bow hunting and finding trophies a lot easier when it is impossible to spook anything. So I would actually like to see some of these things patched. I know there are many, many glitches and there is also an unlimited inventory glitch. Another glitch which I am not going to share with you how to do it, <laughs> but I do know that it does exist. Does this cause you to get more diamonds and rares? No, it, it doesn't really, but it is an unfair advantage, so it really shouldn't be used. Anyway, I just wanted to chat with you guys about it for a bit, and I would love to know what you guys think. Do you guys find that there are insane trophies being posted all the time to social media. The thing about it is, what about that person who spent 8 to 12 hours a day grinding for that insane trophy, who finally, finally got it after so many hours and posts it to social media to have it scrutinized? No one believes them because this is what has been going on. And I don't blame people for not believing everything they see on there. It's just unfortunate that this is where, you know, this has taken us. That we can't trust what we see because it is so very easy. To... And it has gotten to the point where they don't even run comps in Call of the Wild because of ease at which people are able to cheat the system, basically. And we don't even run comps and that is so unfortunate. I would love to do that. So I wish there was a way that we could put an end to it. I don't know. I wish there were no mods available. It's just unfortunate. <laughs> I just wish that they didn't exist. I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. I would love to know what you think about all of this. You know, technology definitely changes gaming. And some people do feel that they have the right to use whatever mod they want on their own game. What do you guys think? You know, I would love to know. But yeah, that is going to wrap it up for this one. Let me know in the comments, guys, where you stand on this, what you think is fine, what you think is fair gameplay, and how it has affected you. I would love to know. If you did enjoy the video, guys, make sure to smash that like button. And if you'd like to join us for more, just hit that subscribe button. And we will see you guys in the next one.
Take care, guys.